Hey everybody, it's Sean Hendrickson here at the Sean Hendrickson Law Firm. And if you've been arrested for a DWI, one of the things that probably happened to you was that your license was confiscated. After you bailed out of jail and after you were released, you got a lot of your property back, but you didn't get your license back. The reason for that is because DPS is probably trying to suspend your driver's license. And more than 90% of the time, if you've been arrested for a DWI, DPS is gonna try and suspend your driver's license. What they don't tell you when you're released is that even though you're only giving, given a temporary driving permit, your driver's license is still eligible and you're still valid to drive, which means you can go to any driver's license office in the state, stop by there and get a replacement driver's license, and I recommend that you do. Anytime when you have to go to the bank or when you have to do anything else where you would have to show an ID, you don't have to go into the whole story of explaining what this temporary driving permit is and why you have it. You can just show your driver's license just like normal. I also recommend you request a hearing to keep DPS from suspending your driver's license. In the end, they may be able to suspend it anyway, but you should have a hearing uh, to try and keep them from doing that. You've got 15 days from the date of arrest to request that hearing. If you don't request it, your license is still valid from 40 days from the date of the arrest. If you have any questions about that, feel free to give me a call. Have a great day, everybody.